Hey everybody, how's it going? I've been meaning to do a uh, post-hurricane update for you guys for a little bit here, but I haven't been able to get my uh, computer up. I had my laptop, so I've been able to still put out some, some videos of stuff I've been shooting, but I haven't been able to put together this kind of video, so here we go. Um, yeah, we lived through the hurricane. I live in Cape Coral, uh, which is exactly where the eye of the hurricane went over. Um, I was in LA for 20 years and worked there for a long, long time, but I've been out here for three years, kind of came out here from the land of the earthquake and fire to the land of the hurricane. And here we go. Actually, three of, between my wife and I, three places that we lived in LA are gone because of fires. And uh, now here we are in Florida, and uh, yeah, our house got hit dead on by that hurricane. So you might have been seeing some of the footage I've been posting lately, uh, which is just so tragic around town here. It's, um, it's just horrendous. Um, I've been trying to get out and shoot some rooftops for folks, and while I'm at it, you know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of crazy stuff from around town. Um, Anyway, you know, we live on the water right here, so uh, you've seen probably in my videos how I sit out back under our uh, plumeria tree and test equipment. I've always done my, uh, my runs mostly back there, up and down the canal, and I sit under that tree. So here's what it looks like then, and here's what it looks like now. Uh, I also got in the habit of taking sunset pics from our dock, um, but that view has changed a lot in the last 10 days or two weeks since the hurricane because um, all those, most of those trees are gone. Uh, so anyway, um, you can see how close to the water we are in a house like this. And um, that storm surge came up and uh, just went up over the level of the pool and into the house. So basically those canals rose up and everybody's house was just sitting in water here, some worse than others. Um, ours was enough that, you know, if you look around here, you'll see we had to get all our drywall removed. Everything's pushed out from the walls. Our house is basically ripped up. i uh, walk you around a little, for instance. There's the bathroom now. Everything is just completely pulled apart because when this kind of thing happens, in a place like Florida, you get a little bit of water in the walls, you instantly get black mold. <laughs> so anyway, I've been dealing with that. But that said, I've been running around town and shooting some stuff um, and just seeing just how crazy it is. I've been posting some videos just that. Here's a few clips, you know, as I'm talking. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm getting back to it. And uh, thank God all, all my gear survived. All We survived. All our stuff survived. We got it all up off the ground. Um, except for, you know, some things like kayaks and stuff that were outside that... 150 mile an hour wind just takes yard furniture and things like that away, things we couldn't get in. But uh, otherwise, yeah, we're okay. And um, all my drone gear survived. So I'm out shooting. Uh, here's a little bit more of that stuff. I got to the Sanibel Bridge yesterday and shot around there a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, links at the end of the video here and links in the description to some of my just straight up uh, hurricane footage lately but just wanted to check in let everybody know I'm doing okay and we're uh, we're a ways from getting back to normal but uh, I don't know if things will ever be normal here again with all the damage and trees missing and everything's just different but uh, we're okay and still flying all right talk soon